Got it. Let's see if I can hit something. <laughs> Yay. I don't think I've ever actually used this club. <laughs> what a nine out of nowhere. Ooh. Does that thing have like negative attack bonus? <laughs> yeah, it has like a bunch of negative stat. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Pause's Progress. Uh, as you saw from the last clip, I just got 100 mil defense XP. Um, and while it might not be a very notable skill to have achieved 100 mil XP in, it's still kind of uh, uh, notable to me, I guess. Um, it, it's my third uh, 100 mil plus XP skill. Um, I obviously haven't uh, had anything else besides cooking and fishing over 100 mil XP. Even in uh, like RS3, I, I didn't really play that game too much. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so the mining games haven't been as uh, improved since the last episode, uh, but I am moving forward still uh, very slowly at 66.2 mil at mining XP at the moment. Um, and uh, hopefully they will start to go up near, uh, I guess, end of, end of June maybe. I, I'm kind of I, I, having a blank on when I'm returning. Uh, back home uh anyway i'm i'm leaving in seven days to go to europe so i'm gonna be pretty busy during that time for about 40 days or so um yeah i'm i only have one free day every week and uh i'm probably not going to be spending uh that day playing runescape um since i'm in a another country might as well actually like enjoy it and see the sights um i'm not really sure what i'm going to be doing exactly but uh, exploring might be an option um, and uh, during the other days of the week I'm going to be busy from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. every single day so uh, it's gonna be quite busy even busier than school um, speaking of that I uh, just got out um, on Friday that was my last class uh, I moved back home uh, in my parents house and I just finished my last assignment last night uh, it was my portfolio for my uh, studio class and there's been some issues with that uh, just uh, I don't know the TAs are sending out emails like none of you guys submitted your portfolio it's it's because they didn't specify like what folder to put it in we all put it in the folder that we expected it to be but it, apparently that wasn't correct um, so I just sent it to them directly I don't really know why I'm talking about this but you know it's on my mind right now because I just got that email anyway so May 13th, uh, this will be a day that free-to-play players remember as a, uh, a very bad day. Um, if Jagex follows through on the things they're proposing, uh, I don't really want to get too much into this because uh, I guess I'll start with uh, saying that we're probably going to be having a podcast soon. Hopefully um, everybody can be there for this. Uh, it might be rough trying to schedule everybody because they all have pretty crazy schedules. I guess I might as well just say who's on it because uh, it is set in stone at the moment. Um, it's going to be the usuals, me, Freckled, Kid, uh, Bargain, hopefully Bargain. Actually, you know what? He said he's going to be busy all weekend, so probably not Bargain. But uh, And uh, this time we're going to have Kiji uh, as himself this time, not Minlevel Skilla. And speaking of Kiji, he uh, was recently promoted to organizer of free-to-play CC, so... He can organize events and whatnot now. Uh, and Dance Potato, he's a three combat ultimate Iron Man, rank two, uh, behind mid level Skilla. Claims he can, uh, he's gonna beat him to 99 Runecraft. He has a pretty good lead, so it's it could could happen. Um, and lastly, we're gonna have Barto, aka Jenna Ahonen. Uh, he's playing old school now because he uh, som somewhat recently got 200 mil all free to play on RS3. So he's going to be an interesting person to talk to and get his opinion um, on certain things. But uh, anyway, back to what I was talking about here. Um, so if you didn't know already, JX released a couple news posts on, uh, what day is it today? Today is Wednesday, so Monday. Um, one of which uh, was a PvP, uh, the state of PvP was the title of it. Um, 
I, I guess they intend to fix some issues with uh, PvP. Uh, apparently it's quite dead and things aren't passing polls, so their solution to that is force it into the game without a poll. Um, it, it seems to be their, their new stance on things. It's just forcing it into the game without our, our approval. So, yeah, so much for that polling system, I, I, I guess. Um, and one of those things is something that has been polled three times in the past, and I have talked about it many times on uh, my progress videos because it's something I don't want into the in the game. I guess initially for selfish reasons, but at this point, it's kind of just uh, a bit ridiculous that uh, they're doing this after it filling a poll three times. Um, it's uh, free to play is now getting teleblock, so yeah, I can get teleblock now. I mean it's still going to be very easy to escape while doing mining. It's not going to be an issue, but um, it's going to be uh, extra annoying, I guess. Um, and anyway, the other thing that they uh, have decided to do is um, tend to cater to these uh, quote-unquote newer players, but in reality, these people are the kind of people that aren't going to play, even if they understood how to play the game. Um, because they have very short attention spans. That is essentially what is happening here. Uh, so this, uh, their solution to people quitting the game is, um, and I, I can agree with this to an extent, that uh, an issue is um, accessibility in a way um, it, to things in free-to-play. But I, to be honest, of course, I like that because it's very limiting and I can't like teleport all over the place and I can't run as fast as possible for as long as of, of a distance and um, I, I personally enjoy that but I can see how that can be an issue with newer newer players coming into the game um, but I think there are appropriate ways to fix this uh, I can probably get into potential suggestions later in this video but right now I'm going to talk about this uh, so one of them is there uh, and this again uh, one thing I should say before I say this is they have decided that uh, this is not going to be pulled either because I, I quoting them pretty much exactly it will take too long to pull that is their reasoning for forcing it into the game so they're going to be adding free to play agility uh, I, I hope there's an uproar about this I mean there has been on Twitter but like uh, it's kind of a biased audience here in, on Twitter that I've noticed because I only follow like uh, very high level players and people like that um, so free to play is getting agility uh, whether we like it or not hopefully they're actually going to be ha having a Q&A in a couple hours here maybe I should hold off on things I'm about to say hold off on this video until they uh, talk about that because I, I definitely want to watch this Q&A it's going to be quite interesting um, and get their uh, feedback on that uh, and there's some other things in that news post as well. Um, one was something like, I don't know, some sort of teleport anywhere when when you start for the first two days or something like that. I, I didn't really read too much into it. They said it would work similarly to like magic carpets or something. But this is just, I don't know, this seems such like a lazy design. Like they, it genuinely seems like they didn't think about this whatsoever. Like they just came up with an idea and said like yep let's put it in the news post this news post for one uh, honestly whoever wrote it you're a complete moron like there's no other way of describing this like i'm pretty sure everybody can agree with me it's just like so sporadic and all over the place it's like what were they thinking <laughs> honestly like this is just i honestly i didn't think jx would ever like would get this bad honestly but uh, they never cease to amaze me or any of us really so that's what I have to say about that I guess I'll wait till this Q&A happens before finishing this video so yep so I watched the Q&A uh, I'm not really sure what's happening in all honesty like I reread the the news blog and um, I don't know it it just seems really unclear like this this news post it starts off by saying we're not going to pull anything basically and then it goes on and then says a bunch of stuff so I'm not sure if it's exactly just the adventure path or whatever it was um, I can't remember what they called it but 
basically they're talking about having some beginner system that introduces players to the early game and some like goals they can set like it'll like for example say that you can get go get five attack at cows or whatever and it'll give you some reward for it so like that's i think that's an okay idea and like if that's what they're talking about that's not being pulled that it's that's okay like if it's just some small thing that helps or like players early on get used to how the game works and that's okay but like i don't know i it just seems really unclear like they didn't talk about this like a whole lot they just talked about it on a small portion at the beginning of the q a and i don't know just the way ash was talking about it like when he brought up free to play agility it didn't sound like it was set in stone so i'm not entirely sure at this point um i just tweeted ash a minute ago asking him what what exactly is happening if if it's being pulled or not so um i guess once he replies i'll uh i'll post about it in the comments of this video let you guys let you guys know so in other news uh things that i've been up to i recently got uh, 8000 uh, cml free to play ehp um which is pretty big uh kind of crazy almost almost 10,000 that's a lot <laughs> uh and uh, another thing about ehp free to play wiki recently came out with their new um the new free to play EHP rates. Uh, I've been waiting for these for a while. Um, not only, I don't know if I've talked about this in a video or not. I think I did, but like it was before it came out. Um, so there's some bugs at first, but uh, I mean, there's still a lot left, but the high scores is fixed now. Um, so we got me at uh, rank two now and netbook at rank one still. He has like, yeah, he has actually 8.9K EHP. I have 7.6K according to this. Um, so the things that have changed, we have runecrafting went from like solo. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's changed, um, but I'm not going to get into all of it. Runecrafting is now 55 K an hour. Um, I think, I think it's smithing. Yeah. Smithing. I don't know. I don't think he actually implemented that. That's okay. Uh, what else do we have? I know that, oh yeah. One thing <coughs> I was a little skeptical about at first uh, so initially I proposed uh, berry cooking as being the EHP rate, but turns out it's uh, very similar in the amount of hours it saves in comparison to e uh, eerie fishing. So instead of uh, berry cooking being the EHP, um, he just made Iron Man and uh, main like regular account EHP the same uh, for fishing and cooking. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about this just because it makes cooking completely zero time so you just don't get EHP for cooking now and another thing it makes fishing slightly slower um, for the EHP rate I think wait now I'm looking at it what is this I'm pretty sure yeah okay it does anyway uh, fishing is a uh, 71.4 K per hour up until 149 mil XP that's what it is that's what I was looking at so you can get over over EHP with fishing. Um, I don't really like that too much, but uh, I guess in terms of like calculating 200 mil free to play, it's accurate. Um, I think there's probably another way to do it, but like I don't know how to do it. I'm pretty sure Tommy doesn't know how to do it, so like I don't blame him for that. Because uh, like CML is able to like calculate things pretty easily, like. Uh, I'm, I, I don't really understand it too much, but like basically you don't get like one full EHP until you have gotten like all the bonus XP for certain skills. Like um, for example, in members, when you're fishing, you also are expected to gain agility, XP, strength, XP, and cooking XP because of um, the way fishing works in members and uh, cut eating, which is the method that is used, um, stuff like that. But yeah, like it can it can calculate all that into one EHP per hour, like accurately. Uh, I'm not too sure how that's done, but ideally that would be the way to do EHP rates. So it seems like that my free to play maxing guide video got a pretty good response. Um, so I've been kind of thinking about like other potential guides I could make that I feel like I I'm somewhat knowledgeable about on certain subjects. Um, something I uh, came up with was uh maybe like a guide to cml because i know there are some things in it that are 
um, not as uh, self-explanatory as most of it is. Um, like you want to see records, you click on records. Obviously that stuff is pretty obvious, but uh, one thing I, I find people have issues with is understanding like how certain records work and like how updating yourself works. So I feel like maybe I could do a, a, a guide explaining how do those things work and try to simplify it as much as possible because uh, like I didn't understand it the first time I saw it as well like I remember the first time I was on CML I saw like five minute records and I was like what how did somebody gain like 10 million XP in five minutes that doesn't make any sense but yeah, obviously I, I get that now because it's six hours not five minutes but there's there's methods on how things work on uh, updating yourself and I can talk about stuff I get on that so so yeah let me know what you guys think about that um, it's been a while since uh, this is this updates happened but uh, if you didn't know already free to play now has beginner close scrolls um, I did stream it quite a bit I think I've probably streamed like 10 to 15 hours of close scrolls at this point uh, I haven't done so much as of recently because I've been pretty busy since it was the last week of school um, but yeah, I completed probably like 120 something clue scrolls, and and there's not this isn't just because I uh, I felt like doing clue scrolls. There's another reason behind it. Um, you can now see your item. I guess it's called like an item collection log. If you go to uh, there's a dude in the Verak Museum you can talk to for a book, and this book shows you things you've collected, and there are certain things in free to play that you can collect such as uh, Hill Giant Club, uh, I believe Shaman Mask is on there. I couldn't find it when I was looking for it, but I'm, I've heard it's on there. Uh, so like this is sort of like completionist stuff. I, I'm always up for uh, some free to play completionist stuff because that's, that's kind of fun. Um, and Clue Scrolls rewards are on there, the, uh, the uniques you can get. So, and there's also a Black Pickaxe, which I'm not entirely sure why that's there because you can also get other black items that are equally as rare so I don't I don't quite understand that but yeah you can collect all these items from clue scrolls and it'll be highlighted in this book so it's technically completionist com uh, content um, also castle wars is on there uh, c collecting all the castle wars items I don't think you have to have them all at once so there's probably a certain amount of tickets you need um, in order well I guess whatever the most expensive thing is you can just buy and sell um that is something i eventually want to get is a castle wars armor but i don't quite have the motivation for that at the moment uh, i feel like skilling more than anything as much as i i i kind of have this uh this vision in my head of seeing myself three tick mining uh you know wearing full gold castle wars you know got a gothics uh wreath around my head team cape uh zero my alt kicking me has full gold castle wars. Wouldn't that just be a lovely sight? You know, just getting 200 mil mining like that. That'd be so dope. So just a few more things before I end the video. Uh, people always want to see my bank because I guess banks are interesting. Uh, my bank is not too interesting, but I guess I will uh, show you guys. Running a little bit low, running a little bit low on cash, <laughs> as you can see, but. I've got a few nature runes to do some superheating. That's really all I need. Uh, some fire runes. Um, my alt has some GP, so I'm not like completely broke or anything. But uh, this was just some clue scroll stuff for doing clue scrolls. Like I need these for a certain clue, and like this is for the uh, Charlie the Tramp clue. Um, and these are the rewards I got. So I was talking about the collection log uh, just a minute ago, and the bare feet. Uh, I got okay so these are all the uniques I've gotten so far um, I'm not gonna sell these uh, black I put black sword in here because it's equally as rare as the black pickaxe it's like very rare apparently so rip could have gotten the black pick but anyway uh, I've gotten the shoulder parrot that was like two mil at GP when I got it but that's okay I don't really care too much about money um, I got these uh, ornament kits um, sandwich lady outfit wow that is so cheap now these were like these were like two or three hundred k i'm pretty sure at some point bare feet i gotta i kind of want to get mole slippers just to do melee in them but i also kind of want to get them myself um anyway yeah my bank not too interesting at the moment oh yeah this was uh the crack of the clue stuff that's free to play now 
this is not a crack clue. Neither is this. I just thought this kind of went with this outfit. Um, I, I, I like the way this outfit looks, but obviously it doesn't look very old school. Not a big fan of that. Kind of looks like something from Solomon's Store in RS3. Uh, but yeah, there's a few more things I wanted to mention. Uh, let's see. First thing, uh, I released a t-shirt um, for Free to Play CC. So if you're a member of Free to Play CC and you want a t-shirt that has your name on the back and a cool looking logo, I I've uh, recently gotten uh, uh, sort of into Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop um, just because I have to use it all the time with school. So I don't know, I'm, I'm really enjoying using those programs. So I'm trying to teach myself uh, how to get better at it and um, using this t-shirt thing is sort of an exercise. I also, we're going to be having a free to play wiki t-shirt come out soon. Um, I will let you guys know on that when that's out. Uh, I'll probably talk about it on the podcast. Maybe it, it's looking pretty good though. It's a really cool design. Actually, I can, I can give you guys a preview of it uh, real quick. All right. So th this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, I was thinking about maybe changing some stuff with the skimmy, but to be honest, it looks pretty good right now. Um, I guess you guys can let me know what you think about that. Uh, and I, I kind of like the very simplistic uh, FTP wiki logo on the front. I don't know. That's just how I feel about that. kiji has been trying to get me to make it, put it on the pocket. You know, you got to have pocket tees and you got to have logos. But I don't know. I kind of I like the way this looks. You guys can let me know how you think about that. And uh, we also have this uh, male model, um, Chad L LG himself, uh, rocking the FTP wiki shirt. So you guys, uh, you know, this is a pretty pretty big RuneScape star here, you know, wearing my FTP wiki shirt. So you should probably get one yourself. Um, anyway, uh, one last thing. KG wanted me to, to mention the Taco Bell app. It's uh, definitely something you all should get. Uh, what did I have yesterday? I had something that was really good. Um, we, mainly, we're just we've just been talking about customizations and whatnot. Taco Bell, by the way, is so good. I don't, I don't care what anybody else says about it. It's amazing. Um, but I had this uh, breakfast taco. I think it was like uh, grilled with, yeah, grilled breakfast taco, bacon, uh, potatoes, add potatoes to it, and add creamy jalapeno sauce. You'll have a, a very good time. Your taste buds will, at least. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, next one won't be out for a while because I will be in Europe um, but hopefully it will be with 70 mil mining XP. It shouldn't be too long. I uh, kind of want to make some gains this summer. I mean, I'm going to have stuff to do. Probably going to be taking a, a class over the summer so I, it, as a prerequisite for another class I need. Um, so yeah, but uh, I probably should make some decent gains. Uh, I don't really have much else to do besides that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.